not an easy shot here to get up and down. Oh, goodness gracious. Jordan Spieth. From Dallas, Texas, Jordan Spieth. On the golf course, he's described as fearless, aggressive, and one of the best putters on tour. Off the golf course, he is modest, displays a muted style, and was once considered golf's golden child. Who are we referring to? Jordan Alexander Spieth. The Texas native has defied the odds to become a successful golfer on the PGA Tour, as well as in the corporate world. In this video, we will examine the top six things to know about Jordan's lifestyle, insane net worth, and will meet his stunning wife. Number six, early life and career. Jordan Alexander Spieth was born on July 27, 1993. He was the first of three children born to his mother, Mary Spieth, a computer engineer, and his father, Sean Spieth, founder of a media analytics startup. However, both parents had a strong love for sports, having played basketball and baseball, respectively, in college. Jordan developed a love for sports from his parents with an interest in baseball, then football, and finally basketball. At age nine, he finally began to show an appreciation for the sport of golf. He attended St. Monica Catholic School and graduated from Jesuit College Preparatory School in 2011. Jordan flashed his brilliance on the golf course from an early age. As a 16 and then an 18-year-old, he won the U.S. Junior Amateur in 2009 at the Trump National Bedminster and in 2011 at Gold Mountain. It landed Spieth in the record books as the second person to win the U.S. Junior Amateur twice, along with Tiger Woods. Also, he finished second in the 2008 and 2009 Junior PGA Championship. As a reward for these feats, the American Junior Golf Association named him the Rolex Junior Player of the Year in 2009. I'm truly honored to accept the Rolex Junior Player of the Year award. Um, it was my number one goal for 2009, and I truly believe that it's the greatest achievement in junior golf. Jordan was later recruited by the University of Texas and was exceptional in his freshman season. He won three events for the university and led the team in scoring average. He helped his team win the NCAA championship and was named to the All Big 12 team. He was also named Big 12 Freshman of the Year and Player of the Year and was a first team All-American. In 2012, Spieth featured as an alternate in the US Open after Brant Snedeker withdrew. He performed remarkably to finish tied for 21 and the lowest place as an amateur. That performance skyrocketed Jordan to being named the number one amateur golfer in the world. Midway in his sophomore year, the appeal of pro golf was too much and Jordan skipped his remaining college years and became a professional. In July 2013, Spieth won the John Deere Classic. He became the fourth youngest PGA Tour winner and the first teenager to do so since Ralph Goodall won the Santa Monica Open in 1931. In 2015, Spieth made history for the most birdies during the Masters by making 28 and became the second youngest person to win the Masters. Jordan went on to win the 2015 U.S. Open. He became only the sixth player ever to win the Masters and the U.S. Open in the same year and the first since Tiger Woods in 2002. The other four golfers to accomplish this feat are Hall of Fame members Craig Wood, Ben Hogan, Arnold Palmer, and Jack Nicklaus. As a result, he ended 2015 ranked as the world's number one. To win this tournament on Father's Day, um, I just hope my dad's proud of me and uh, he's the one who got me started playing the game. He's the reason that I'm here right now, my, my entire family. So, Dad, this one was definitely for you today. This, this, uh, this trophy's for you and, and this will be a day we didn't, we'll never forget. After a second place in the 2016 Memorial, Spieth added a third major title by winning the Open Championship in 2017. Sadly, Jordan failed to maintain his form and plummeted in the rankings between 2018 and 2020. In 2021, Spieth finally came clean about his downturn in his play. He explained that he suffered a bone chip in his left hand back in 2018, and he opted not to undergo surgery to repair it. After recovering from this injury, he won the Valero Texas Open by two strokes, and it ended a near 1,400-day streak without a victory. It's just been, you know, it's been a, it's been a road that's had um, a lot of tough days, and I've had people in my corner that have always believed in me, and um, even when, you know, I've kind of believed less in myself. So um, I just feel a lot of gratitude to those who have helped me kind of get back here. I'm, I get put in position, and I've got full trust in everyone that's that's on that's on my side, um, that they're going to be the best at what they do, and uh, and I've just got to go out and, and feel the freedom to, to go enjoy playing golf. He placed second in the Open in the Charles Schwab Challenge. Fun fact, 
Was Jordan Spieth a young Nostradamus? At the age of 14, Jordan Spieth was already a golf phenom. Yet he predicted that he would win the Masters while being featured on the local news in Dallas. Well, my ultimate goal when I came here, Cam asked me and I said I wanted to win the Masters. Sure enough, in 2015, his prediction came true with a dominant win to claim the green jacket. Yeah, the prediction became a reality. Huh, interesting. I wonder what else he could predict for the future. Number five, career earnings, endorsements, and net worth. According to PGATour.com, Jordan Spieth has appeared in 216 events and has made 180 cuts. He has enjoyed 12 career wins, 15 second place, and 9 third place finishes. Spieth has earned a mammoth $47,867,223. That ranks him as 15 in the all-time golf money leaders as of November 2021. One of Spieth's biggest endorsers when he turned pro was Under Armour. In January 2013, Under Armour made the then 19-year-old the face of the company's new golf wing. However, in January 2015, they decided to scrap the final two years of that deal and gave Spieth a new 10-year contract. The exact terms of the deal were never made public. However, at the time, Golf Digest said about the contract, the deal, which industry insiders say has tiger-like numbers, includes an eight-figure guarantee annually, bonus benchmarks for things like winning a major, stock options, and, in the future, a signature line of clothing. It is rumored that his deal is similar to Rory McIlroy's deal with Nike, which was for 10 years and worth between 200 to 250 million dollars. Jordan is a marketable face in golf and has a strong partnership with AT&T, Titleist, Brightspot, NetJets, Rolex, Club Champion, and Full Swing. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Jordan Spieth is worth a ridiculous 110 million dollars. Number four. Mansion. As a native Texan, Spieth decided to stay home by purchasing a sprawling mansion located in the Dallas neighborhood of Preston Hollow for approximately $7.1 million. The exclusive gated community allows unique access to two separate private jet ports nearby. The property was constructed in 2003, and the mansion is approximately 16,665 square feet, with five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The home has multiple sitting areas, a huge kitchen, large bedrooms, a golf simulator space as part of a man cave, as well as a huge indoor basketball court. The outdoor space has a nice lawn, a large infinity pool, and other sitting areas, including one with a fire pit. Fun fact. Speaking of lawn, Cutting it wasn't a concern for Jordan's parents when he was growing up. He was so dedicated to golf that as a nine-year-old, he would cut the lawn low so he could practice his chipping and putting. Man, I wish he was my neighbor. He could have practiced all day if he wanted. Number three, cars. Jordan ensured that his ginormous mansion consisted of an underground garage capable of holding up to 12 cars. Jordan's net worth allows him to own an entire fleet of premium cars. Spieth owns an orange and black BMW i3 and a black Ford F-150. The i3 has an electric powertrain with space-age styling and a stylish contemporary interior. It has a range of about 150 miles before needing a charge. The cost of the BMW i3 is $45,000. Jordan also owns a 2021 Cadillac Escalade. The Escalade is estimated to be worth $75,000. Among the luxury vehicles owned by Spieth is a Mercedes-Benz CLS. The CLS is classy, quick, and fun to drive. The Mercedes CLS has a luxury high-end interior like no other and includes a host of high-tech electronics. It is loaded with deluxe driving features and has one of the softest rides on the market. The CLS can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 5.1 seconds. The Mercedes CLS is estimated to cost $74,000 on the low end. Jordan Spieth also owns a Hyundai Creta. We expect that he owns the 2016 version. It is not the most expensive car, but you get a lot of value for the price. It is also believed that he owns a Toyota 4Runner and a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Number 2. Charity Jordan Spieth is a mega-rich athlete, but he is also a philanthropic individual. In 2014, he launched the Jordan Spieth Family Foundation, which offers a platform for Jordan to lend time, help grow awareness, and offer financial support for four philanthropic areas. The four areas that the foundation aids are individuals with special needs, junior golf, military support, and pediatric cancer. Helping people with special needs hits home for Jordan, with his sister Ellie facing a similar situation. 
He views her as his constant source of support and grounding. With having a special needs sister kind of changes your life. Every person in our family changes kind of the, the sacrifices my parents have to make. And then for us, it's, um, it, it's so special. It's so special to see her development. It's so special to see um, how she can continue to conquer you know, struggles that we take for granted. He sees the importance of providing educational opportunities for these amazing kids. He stated on his website, these are great pressures, financial and emotional, in homes with special needs children. I'm fortunate that with my family, those needs brought us closer together. The purpose of the junior golf program is to set juniors on a path for obtaining college scholarships, equipping young people with an understanding of the game and the behaviors and life skills to set them apart. Jordan lost a friend to childhood cancer. Not long after, his oldest friend Eric had a tough fight with the disease at 12 years old. Jordan launched his fourth pillar of the foundation to support the medical and emotional care of these young patients and their families. Number one, stunning wife. As the saying goes, behind every great man is a great woman. Jordan Spieth certainly found a wonderful woman in Annie Verrett. Spieth and Verrett got into a relationship after they met in high school and held strong even when they attended different colleges. Spieth got engaged to his high school sweetheart over the holidays in 2017. The couple got hitched in Texas the very next year in 2018. Annie became popular on tour for being there for a man and giving maximum support. He paid tribute to his wife after his big win in April 2021 at the Valero Open, where he stated, My wife has been just a rock to me. This is my first win since we've been married, so it's been progressing this way since maybe December. Before that, there were a lot of tough times. She's just been that person that said, Whatever you need to do, I'm here to support you. Annie Verrett stayed in state to attend college by attending Texas Tech University, and she majored in business. She became a professional event coordinator and is philanthropic with her time. She is the event coordinator for the First Tee of Greater Dallas. It is a campaign aimed at providing educational and golf lessons to children. It is supported by the PGA Tour, the Masters, and the PGA of America. Yeah, Jordan Spieth has the world at his feet. He is a mega rich athlete through his earnings and endorsements. He has a beautiful mansion, an entire fleet of cars. Importantly, he is a kind person at heart and has a stunning wife by his side. Okay, so what do you think about Jordan Spieth's mega lifestyle? Do you think he'll pass Tiger Woods on the all-time money list when his career is over? Come on, let me know in the comment section. Smash the like and subscribe to this channel for premium sports-related content. Until next time.